Mike, let's get your predictions for how you think this Premier League is going to finish out here. We'll get yours first, uh, explain it, and then we'll jump over to Francesco. You can take it from Mike. Go ahead. Yeah, I, we we have did the the preview to the Arsenal-Man City game, and I stick by what we saw, and it, it's actually been more emphasized. Man City will win the Premier League. Uh, maybe Arsenal will not get those 88 points. We'll see how they respond against Chelsea at the w- weekend. Vic, your Chelsea versus Arsenal, maybe not the weekend, but when they play next. Newcastle, Alexander Isak, this guy is incredible. High on him, high on what they're doing. They are just like a rocket ship, just getting better towards the end of the season. I do see Manchester United getting it together, getting their act together by the end of the season to qualify. And Liverpool getting into Europe, the games in hand, them getting kind of finding their way, getting back to form. And the surprise pick, Aston Villa just missing out. Aston Villa beating Tottenham Hotspurs. I think the fact that that game is at Villa Park and not at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will be the reason. Wow. Wow. Francesca, let's move over to yours then as well. I think the the only big difference is that I have Brighton instead of uh, nice. <laughs> Aston Villa. Uh, I, I was actually looking at the, at the schedule, so I, I, I did my, my numbers. Basically, that's what it came out. It wasn't just... Uh, <laughs> Just the Italian pride of having the Zerbi in top six, but actually it is also the Italian pride to have the Zerbi in top six because we 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 are we are cheering for him, of course. Uh, and yes, so basically, I, as I said, I see Liverpool go in the in the top uh, in the top five. Uh, I see United finishing strongly. Actually, uh, they think without the the European competition, I think they will they will have more time to prepare the the, the Premier League games. Uh, so that's a, a factor, actually, because if you play Thursday and Sunday, of course, it's it's. We were talking about that for the Champions League for Inter and AC Milan, so it's ba- basically the same concept. And then I see more point gap between City and Arsenal, to be honest, because my my belief, my prediction is that if City manages to win uh, the next two three games, uh, it will be tough for Arsenal. Also, uh, mentally speaking, you know to to be the runner-up and finishing close to the to the Pep Guardiola's team. Yeah, very well done there. Intriguing as well. I can see that little yeah. celebration from Michael the Hoodie of Manchester United <laughs> sitting in the third place there. I like to see Brighton up there, and obviously I can see that Italian connection. What the Zerbia is doing at Brighton is fabulous, and uh, he's clearly getting respect from many uh, a manager in the Premier League, but also from the media and the fans in general for the way that his team perform. Um, here's a quick look at my top six here, and you'll all be surprised to see that I have Arsenal falling off a cliff and finishing Oof, second, wow. just so you know they're finishing on 83 points. I'm just saying, once you get hammered, and you've got to look at the results that they've dropped already in the last four games, once you get hammered by Manchester City, what does that do for your confidence? And plus, you're now going up against teams that are competing for, obviously, European places. They're competing Mm -hmm. to try and stay away from the relegation. It's never easy. And I see Manchester City. The only draw I think I had in there was City City against Everton with a 1-1 draw. Um, (laughs) But outside of that, I've got them winning all the way through. Uh, For JJ, I put Aston Villa in the top six just because I love JJ. (laughs) And Liverpool somehow getting some results. But Newcastle, I've got picking up 74 points. Um, mm. As we watched that performance yesterday, you mentioned oh. it already. Individuals, team collectively, Eddie Howe's got Newcastle absolutely purring. And I think that if they can add two or three pieces next year, they might oh. be able to challenge for a top three place in uh, in the Premier League as well. Hey, Mike, before we do go to a quick break, can you just let us know who you have in the bottom three? Because this is also intriguing me for the relegation spots. Yeah, I, I think I went Southampton, Leeds, and Everton. And we said that the big club was going to go down this season. And I think Everton Football Club, you got Frank Lampard in there that started the fire. I think Sean Dice, he's tried to stop the bleeding a bit. But, man, it's a free fall that awaits them. I mean, just the, the, the in our group chat, the video that you sent us today, that was the laugh I needed. That's the laugh that I think Everton fans need and it could be a nightmare situation in the blue half of Liverpool. Francesco, did we have you having uh, relegation uh, candidates as well? I have got Nottingham instead of uh, Leeds United. Uh, I, I, my, my belief about uh, is that I think Nottingham, they changed so many, so many things, too many uh, players, you know, they, it was, it was a mess actually. Uh, so I think they will go. They will go down. Uh, I I I'm, I will be sad because I think I, li- I like the project of Nottingham and the players they signed as well. But 
there was too much confusion, I think, in a way, sort of what Chelsea have done as well uh, last summer. You know, when you sign too many players, uh, it's difficult to put them together. Uh, so I, I will go with, with them. I'm actually jumping on the back of what Vic has said here. Everton, <laughs> Dirty Leeds and Southampton. Yeah. Those are the three that I've got going yep. down as well. I'm with you, Francesco, as well. Um, I mean, so many changes is very difficult at the bottom of the table. And Leeds United really scares me right now with what's happening there. And the money that they've spent on players coming in, players on loan, changing coach after coach. And it's it's a mess right now. And such a big club as well. Everton is the one I'm worried about. Like a lot of friends who are Everton fans obviously don't want to see Everton going down. Um, but I'm not enjoying watching Everton whatsoever. And I've probably no idea why I predicted they'd get a result against Man City as well. So <laughs> great stuff from you boys.